which was held on February 1st. We will be discussing on this slide. Before entering into the session, I will first introduce myself, then I will switch over to the topic. Basically, I am Saravanan. I am basically from Tamil Nadu. I am currently working in British Software Private Limited, which is located in Bangalore. Our company is a payroll based company. Our company is developing software for ESI, EF, that is mainly based on HR and payroll development. We are concentrating on ESI, PF, and income tax. Our company is running for more than 20 years. I am working here for more than 15 years. I am having good exposure in EF, ESI, along with income tax also. Here, I will be sharing my experience with you all, and I will make you get clarified in income tax. To summarize what we are going to cover in our today's session that I will be telling you in front, then we will be switching over to the topic. First of all, we want to know what is income tax. Next, we have to go to who are all the persons to pay income tax. That is, what are, who are all taxpayers? What are all the types of income? What are all the taxpayers and what are all the tax slabs included in the income tax? There are two types of tax receipts now currently available in income tax. We will discuss both of them. First is old receipt, next is new receipt. And we will be discussing on the tax slabs based on them. What is financial year? What is assessment year? Who are on term as assessees? What is TAN and what is TAN? Why we should have it? What are all the payments which are involved in income tax? What are all the different modes of filing ITR? And what are the different types of ITR available in income tax? What are all the documents required? What are all the documents required for filing the income tax? How to calculate the income tax? How to compute the income tax? And along with that, we will be discussing what are all the exemptions and what are all the deductions which are involved in income tax. Then how we can minimize our income tax? How to park our funds? Uh, funds either in either in exemption or funds uh, that is savings uh, where around the where uh, where we have to park our funds to minimize our tax savings that will be discussed. These are all the topics we are going to discuss it and along with that what are the doubts you are having we will be discussing it on the further schedules. First of all what is income tax? Now we are going to switch over to the topic. I will be delivering all those matters in the simpler English only. It will be easy to address, analyze, discuss over this. Whenever you are having those, please note it. At the end of the session, we will be clarifying your doubts. First, what is an income tax? Income tax is a type of tax. That is the central government is they levied this income tax. They are charging on the salary purpose, not only on the salary purpose, they are it, it, income tax was levied by the central government. It is one of the direct tax. Taxes are of two types, two categories. One is direct tax, another is the indirect tax. Taxes are the sources of revenues for the government. With the tax only, government is going to do some things based on the uh, taxes collected from the individuals. Government utilizes this revenue for some specific purpose. For developing infrastructure, for providing health care, educational purpose, subsidy to the farmers, and for such more, such more like that. They are also utilizing it for other 
the well, government welfare schemes also. As I already told, taxes are of two types direct tax and indirect form of taxes. That tax limit directly on the income is called as the direct tax. For example, income tax is a direct tax. The tax calculation is based on the slabs what, what the income uh, that a person has been got as a salary or some other purpose. All the incomes what we are incurring that should be taxed. Direct tax are broadly classified into two types. One is one is income tax, another is corporate tax. Income tax is the, in the way as the word in, implies, the income tax is the tax is based on the income receipt. What are all the incomes we are receiving? We are paying tax on the based on the slabs. This is income tax. Next is corporate tax. Corporate tax is the tax where the companies are paying to the government. They will be, that is getting the profit based on their businesses. On the profit, they will be paying to the government. Here also some basic slabs are the Based on the slab, they will be paying to the government. The main difference is they will be in the business and all, uh, they will be making all the expenses after that what are all the profit in the profit they will be sharing the tax to the government but as per the salaried person the what are all the income they have received first they have to pay the tax to the government then only we have to carry out our expenditure then we will be discussing who should pay income tax the income tax department has classified the taxpayers into the following categories. First is individuals. Indu individuals means uh, certain individual persons like X or Y, any person who is earning from a particular person, he, is, he has to pay for the, he has to pay tax, that is individual tax. Then next is in Hindu and undivided family. Then it will be denoted as HUM. Then a association of person, AOP, we will be mentioning it as. Then body of individual, we will be mentioning it as BOI. Then firms and companies. Not only belong this, trust, trust, trust that is the organization also need to pay it for that. We are not going to concentrate all of this. We are directly concentrating on individual because the other terms are not depends upon the uh, nature of the business. Individuals are further classified into two types, resident and non-resident. What is the difference between resident and individual and non-resident? Who belong to the, uh, for according to us, we are all Indians, we are all Indian citizens. So who are all belong to the India, they are called as resident citizen and who are all from foreign, they are known as non-resident so, you know, non status. What is, uh, as per the income tax, we have to maintain, we have to show the category that is either resident or non-resident. What is the difference in comparison in both of these is, a resident of India should pay the income tax, what he earns within India, not only in India, all over the globe, if he goes somewhere else, somewhere, and money also, he has to pay income tax for those purposes. But non resident persons, they have to pay tax only one what they have earned in our country. This is the basic difference between NR, that is non residents and residents of India as per income tax. That also we have to specify it in ITR. What is ITR means income tax returns? That we will be discussing in the later session. Residents in the city, we will be concentrating, uh, we, here also we will be concentrating on resident situations only. In residence, there are three types. One is general citizen, who are aged below 60 is known as general citizen. And senior citizen, who whose age is between 60 and 80, 80 is termed as senior citizen. And the age who are above 80 years, they are termed as super senior citizen. There will be tax brackets for these 
three schedules. If you are in normal citizen, that is general citizen means there will be only a relaxation up to two and a half lakhs. If you are a super, sorry, senior citizen, that is if you are your age is between 60 and 80 means you will be having the tax relaxation. That is the first slab limit. You will be having the tax relaxation up to three lakhs. If you are a super senior citizen, that is if your age is above 80 means then you will be having the tax relaxation up to 50 to 5 lakhs. This is the base difference between these three categories. And these three tax relaxation are applicable for only for old tax limit, but not applicable for new tax limit. There is no relaxation or exemption in new tax limit up to the financial year 2022 and 2023. There are Next, we are checking what are all the incomes, what are the different types of incomes, what we have to mention it in the income tax return. There are majorly five types of income as per income tax. So everyone who earns an income within our India has to specify these types of earnings while submitting their income tax return. Let's let he be a resident or a non-resident. He should specify the different incomes what he has incurred in the current system financial year. First, income from salaries. What are all the income that we will be occurring as a salary is the first. Next is income from house property. Normally in our in our in, the, in India we will be letting out our uh, uh, house for rent where we will be having uh, you will be having income from house property. That will be uh, considered as a second mode of income. Income from capital gains. That is, we will be uh, having some other capital gains. That are all will be considered the other, uh, that is the next type of income. Income from business and other professionals. The, some of the persons will be handling or running the business. That will be considered as the other type of income. And there will be the remaining other income sources will be considered as the other, that is, other source of income. These are the five major types of income. This we have to indicate while submitting our idea. What are the taxpayers and what are the tax slabs that we are going to discuss now? Each of the taxpayers is, is uh, that is, uh, the slabs will be, as I already told, in our general system will be having up to two and a half lakh, uh, so senior citizens will be having up to three lakhs, and super seniors will be having up to five lakhs as the tax related as per the old tax. If you are running your business, the tax rate will be different. Budget 2020 has introduced the new taxes. Previously, we are having only only taxes. What is the old tax system? Yes, that is the general tax system. We will be having certain relaxation and certain exemption based on their income. We can park our funds here and there and we can reduce, that is, we can minimize our income tax. But it is a little bit complicated. Each and every section has multiple inter internally multiple calculation to overcome these things, to avoid this nature. What the, the current government, what this government has released is new tax receipt. It was introduced in year 2020. What is new tax receipt is, what are the income we are getting it? The directly we have to put it in the slab and we have to pay the income. We have to pay the income tax. There is no complication in new tax receipt. Only the old tax receipts will be having several exceptions, reduction, like some, some details of that. But new taxes means, suppose if you are earning, suppose 5 lakhs means, normally up to 2.5 lakhs, there is no uh, no tax, or, but from 2.5 to 5 lakhs, there is 5 percentage of uh, that is the income tax. That's so we have to calculate it and we have to pay the income tax. We should not, we can't do any alterations or any modification in the income to reduce the income or to reduce the income tax, we can't do anything in the new tax system. Only old tax system is having the, all those, that is fabrication and uh, that is uh, uh, exemption reduction. We will be discussing 
what are other tax laws in old taxes? It is having only uh, three things. If you are uh, earning between 0 to 2 and a half lakhs, there will not be any tax. 2 and a half to 5, uh, 5 lakhs, it is just 5%. If you are earning between 5 lakhs to 20, uh, 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs, just 20%. About, 20, uh, about 10 lakhs, you will be have to pay 30 percentage. This is the tax law as per the old tax system. But as per the new tax system, there are six uh, substructures on there. That is, the tax law is uh, cut into two and half, two and half like that. Zero to two and half, no tax. Two and half to five lakhs, five lakhs, five percentage. It will be keep, uh, keep on increasing by five, five, five percent. 5, 5 to 7.5 lakhs, 10%. 7.5 to 10 lakhs, 15%. So, uh, 10 to 12.5 lakhs, uh, 15, uh, 20%. Uh, 12.5 to 15 lakhs, 25%. Above 15 lakhs, it will be 30%. This is the calculation as per the new tax rate. This is the base difference of old tax rate and new tax rate. This is, uh, this uh, tax labs are used to calculate the raw tax only. In the income tax, there are three structures. One is raw tax, another is sub another is sales. What is the raw tax? The tax what we are going to calculate as per the uh, tax lab is known as raw tax. Surcharge is the tax which is applicable over the raw tax is called surcharge. Suppose if you are earning more than 5 lakhs, that is 50 lakhs to 1 crore means you have to pay certain, that is 10 percentage as surcharge. Like that, it will go, go on increasing up to 5 crores. Surcharge will be only limit for high salary or high income persons. But there will be another part called CES. CES is the tax, that is 4 percentage CES. It should be, that is, a, it should be placed both on raw tax and surcharge. If you are paying just raw tax also or anything, raw tax for surcharge, you have to pay the overall amount multiplied by 4 percentage. That is the CES value. By summarizing, that is to add all those things, is known as the income tax. Generally, we will be keep, uh, that is keep our view only on raw tax. If you are coming under the bracket of 50 lakhs per annum, then there will, you need not to worry about the surcharge. The person who is earning about the 50 lakhs per annum should worry about the surcharge. Normally, less than, that is, who are earning less than 50 lakhs, the income tax calculation is whatever the slab they are coming, they have to multiply the amount and it will become as a raw tax. And 4 percentage is that this is along with the raw tax. The summation of cess and raw tax is called as the income tax. Then we will be discussing from some term of next we will be discussing about the exemption and deduction. What is exemption or what is deduction? What are all the things that is we will be having some income that will be exempted from tax? We will be having a part of the income, but it will be exempted from tax. We will discuss the one by one. There are three types. There are multiple things available, but for a salary person, before going into that, we want to know what are all the taxable components and what are all the non-taxable components. In uh, every person will be having the salary strips along with that. Or uh, every month before getting this, before or after getting the salary, we will be issued with the salary strips. In the salary strip, we will be having the bifurcation. There will be the amounts will be uh, that is uh, bifurcated into several heads. That is normally basic HRA compensatory allowance, CC, city compensatory allowance, CCA, special allowance like that, it will be bifurcated. Normally, what is the CTC? The 40 percentage of the CTC which comes under basic. Next comes HRA. HRA will be also, is the 40 percentage of the basic will be going to the HRA. Like that, some partition they will be allocating into several heads. In this uh, calculation, some components will be taxable and some are non-taxable. Some of them are called partially taxable also. For example, the children's tuition, so if you are having children, 
they are studying it for each and every children that is 100 rupees allowance that will be considered as a the non taxable item but basic hra basic is fully taxable hra is partially taxable how we can tell it is a partially taxable based on some calculation some part of the amount will be exempted so hra will be partially taxable partially taxable some of them are not taxable also these are all the first we have to know these are all the taxable components after getting the taxable problem there will be so we will be noting it as ad hoc income what is the ad hoc income sometimes company will be offering bonus incentive this these are not the regular tax company we will be getting one survive only these are all called ad hoc components we will be getting the normal salary along with the ad hoc components then perquisites perquisites are the benefits offered by the company to the persons that is to the employees they may be that may be in, in, in the form of amount also sometimes it might be in the form of some other nature also like that these are all the uh, components totally will be having as the main salary head this is the first step of having the taxable yeah, there is a uh, this are all the basic total salary what we have received this is the first part what we are going to get it in the ITR. That is, while submitting the ITR, they will be asking these components. We have to deliver it. Next, we want to move on for the exemption. If you are going for new taxation, you should not worry about the exceptions or deduction. If you are coming under the old regime, then only we have to check over for exemption or deduction. Here, while considering the exemption, first we will be handling our section 10, the exemption. What are all the components comes on section 10 is they are all mainly allowances. The main thing is HRA. HRA is based on some calculation. That is, what is the HRA received from the company? What is the annual rent paid? What is the that is the employee is going to pay for the householder and rent paid greater than 10 percentage of this, like that. These are all the they will be taking up the minimum. This is the house rent pay. We want to submit the rent receipt to the company. This is the base calculation. This will be considered, whichever is minimum will be considered as the post rent exemption. This is the thing comes under section 10. Next to come with the next coming thing is conveyance exemption. This is not for all, this is only for disabled person. What is the conveyance exception? Is this exemption that is this allowance is used for. Traveling from office to home. There are different, let us say, we will be moving either by cab or we can hire a vehicle or by bus or anything we can go. But only for disabled persons, it is given as a tax relief. That is, that is called tax exemption under section 10. What, how much is the maximum amount for a conveyance exemption? Is? It is just 3,200 per month. Then, if you are multiply it by 12, it will be the exemption. So, these are all things which will come under section 10. Next is LTA. LTA means leave travel allowance. Within two years, two uh, year, annual years, that is within two years, you can go for a trip. That is uh, the, uh, the trip cost. That is if you are going for a picnic or two, that amount we can, that is come under exemption. We can get tax relief for that amount. Only the traveling expense will be included. The accommodation expenses, the things are all not included here. So, the LTA, new travel expenses, HRA, HR, post rent allowance, then another thing, conveyance. These are all the main, these are take what mainly in the section 10. This will be subtracting from the salary heads. Already I told the salary head is having some salary component. The summation of the amount we will be getting as this round figure. In the round figure, we have to separate this uh, section 10 exemption. Next to the section 10 exemption comes the section 16 exemption. What are all the section 16 exemption is standard deduction. Standard deduction is if you are earning the amount greater than 50,000, uh, that is the government is giving a tax relief of 50,000 as a relief that is called standard deduction. Previously, we are having that is uh, we are before 
2019, we are having medical exception, something for uh, But now the, uh, uh, that is, uh, our government has simplified it and it is made as a standard budget. You need not to produce any documents for the standard budget. Plan. Directly, we can subtract in the taxable income, that is the salary income, minus 50,000. That is, uh, the 50,000 is for standard budget that we can subtract it. This is the uh, first first item under section system. Next, tax on employment. In while getting up our salaries, we will be getting the in the uh, left and right hand side part, there will be professional tax PT. We will be telling it differs from state to state. To add another uh, to add more point to that, for the disabled person, some states has uh, that is uh, uh, the relax the professional tax. We need not to pay professional tax for some states, for example, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, it is not necessary to pay professional tax. If you are paying professional tax, that also we can reduce it in the subsection to section system. These things will be coming under injection system. That is one is standard direction. Another thing is, uh, another thing is for tax on employment. What are the tax we have may, paid as an employment that we can reduce it. Along with that, school, school, school fees also. That is the thing. As I told already, if you are having children's care, we can get 100 rupees as uh, that is an uh, exception corporate for each and every children. That also is the maximum of two children's only. So annually, 2400, we will be getting as a lead for that is uh, children's uh, study purpose, that is educational purpose. That also comes under section 60. These are all the items coming at the section system. These are all the exemptions. Next, we are going switching over to the main thing that is called section 24. What is section 24 is? That is, we can, that is, uh, if you are having a house or if you are owning a house, if you are getting, that is, a, a, a loan from bank or from other external vendors and uh, as a loan, and if you are purchasing the we can, that is, we can avail a tax exemption on interest on house loan, housing loan. If you are getting the housing loan, we can get two lakhs at a maximum as the interest on housing loan. The principal part also can be used in deduction. That is that we will be discussing in the letter. But here we are considering only interest on housing loan. That is up to two lakhs. We can reduce two lakhs as interest on housing loan under section 20. If you are letting out the property for renting, that, that should come here under section 24. Section 24 is a big thing. Here, what are all the things we are uh, giving for rent? That on down we have to mention it as here. That is rent income we have to mention. In the rent income, if you are giving a house for rent, you, you will be paying municipal tax for that. You have to pay for that house. That thing you know we have to do. That and all we have to care separate. For example, if you are uh, renting a house for 10,000 annually, for the monthly, annually it will be 10 into 12, that, that will be 1 lakh 20,000. If you are paying 20,000 as a municipal tax, we can subtract it. And if you are for paying each other something, or not, we can get 30% relaxation of the 1 lakh. That is 30% we can get exemption. The, here it will be termed as, here also it will be termed as, Standard exception. There is a uh, is the standard exception on rent only that we can get it up. That section 24 is a big section that it is totally dealing on house property. If you are getting interest on housing loan, we can save up to two lakhs under section 24 as interest on housing loan. Apart from that, the in the rent income, we can give 30 percentage based on some condition. 30 percentage we can have standard exemption. This comes under section 24. These are all the exemptions. These exemptions are all needs to be subtracted from the salary. Head. After the section 24, we can go for deduction. Deduction is the main part. There only, what is the main uh, idea of deduction? We will be parting our fund funds. That is, what are all the money we can use it for future purpose, for saving purpose. For, uh, for any future purpose, that not only for any future purpose, 
uh, government has given some relaxation that we can have it in that thing we can uh, that is park our fund and utilize it for tax relief. The main section is section ATC. ATC is having several parts, for example, life insurance, ELSS, that is equity linked savings schemes, then PPF, a provident fund, then come to the next is Shukanya Samarthi, like that. Many things that these are all coming under ATC, section ATC. In, the, in these things and all, if you are making any savings, that is, if you are parking your project, you will be getting a relative at a maximum of 1,50,000. You can save at a maximum of 1,50,000. It will be a good investment also. It will be useful for us in the future purposes. Not only for the ATC, there is another good savings scheme is called N NPS, that is National Pension Scheme. National Pension Scheme means that is a government pension scheme. Here, we have to invest our money till our uh, that is for our uh, pension that is in the latter ages like that. That we will be having the relaxation up to two lakhs. If you are saving, uh, that is if you are making um, that uh, amount, that is if you are depositing, uh, you are making the payments for NPS uh, in up to two lakhs, you can save it up. How means it will be subjected to the 10 percentage of basic. You will be having your basic component as in the sum amount. In the 10 percentage, you can save it up for NPS, that is future for pension purpose, you can save it up. This is NPS. NPS is also a part of ATC. In ATC, if you are combining, you can save 1 lakh 50,000. Apart from that, you can save 50,000, that is for NPS. The, it will be coming under ATCCD1, like that it will be coming. Next, these are all the saving purpose. Next is ATD. What is ATD means? For our uh, amount spent for our health, that is medical insurance. Not only for us, it will be spent for our family. We can get tax relief based on the uh, in ATD section. For first, ourselves, our spouse, and our children. Yes, uh, we can spend up to 25,000 if you are less than your if your age is less than 60 years. If you are above 60 years, you can save up to 50,000. Then the, that is second part. We can save for our parents also. You can put medical insurance for our parents also. How much means it is if we hear, if our parents' age is less than 60 years, then we can save up to 25,000. If our parent age is above 60 years, then we can save 50,000. Overall, if ourselves, that is uh, who are all below 60 and above 60, only two categories. Ourselves, along with our parents, we can do medical insurance. Based on that, we can save. All the way, normally 25,000 if ourselves and our parents, that is, uh, them also is less than 60 years, now, then we can save 25 plus 25, 50,000. If uh, at a maximum, if uh, we are also aged above 60 and our person, our parents is also above age 60, then we can save 50 plus 50. Up to one lakh, we can save in under ATD. Not only this, in this part, not only applicable for medical insurance, we can have our preventive health checkup. One thing, the whatever the health check we are having, that also we can accommodate that up to a max limit of three percent. But overall thing is uh, that is twenty five for less than uh, less than sixty years and fifty thousand for greater than fifty sorry sixty years. This is ATD. Next, we come to the next main topic is ATU. ATU is only for physically handicapped person. That is based on the severity. If you are having 100 percentage means more, that is, it will be less severity, more severity. That will be two levels. If you are having more severity, you will be having a tax rate up to 1 lakh 25 percent. If you are having less severity, that is less than 40 percent, then how much you will get with 75,000? We can get it. This is ATU. This is only for physically handicapped person. And next section, ATDD, that is disabled dependence. Disabled dependence in our family, if there is any one person in our family is physically handicapped, based on the severity, we can claim exemption 
this uh, for their treatment also. That is 80 dB. That also will be considered. There are also certain terms will be that it will be less severity, high severity based on that we can have the amount uh, that is tax rate based on it. So here what I mean, mean what I mean to tell is 80 U and 80 DD are the deduction part. That is uh, these are all comes under deduction. Chapter 16 deductions we will be telling. These are all the things we can use for tax rate. In the exception part, already I have discussed there is conveyance exception that we can utilize for physically disabled person. These are all the main sections used for that is ex, uh, that is external along with the other person, we can use this specification as with tax rate. Okay, these are all the things coming under deduction. Apart from this, the next section is ATG. If you are paying donated for some charity purposes, that uh, if you are paying for some research organization, some central government oriented relief funds, that we can have it under ATG, that is donation. That's what we can have it as an exchange, that is under deduction. In some cases, if you are paying donation, some organization we can claim up to 50 percentage only. We have to check the note on the down in the bill, we can check it, check from that. That is ATG is the donation. In that donation, we can get a, sometimes we will get a hundred percentage tax relief. In some cases, we will be getting 50 percentage tax relief under ATG. There is another thing under the standard subject ATGG. If you are paying for the research organization, if you are paying for the college or university who is working for research organization, that and all will be coming for under ATGG. This is, I think so, in the Google sheet, somebody asked this question, what is the difference between ATG and ATGGA? ATGGA is for from specific organization or specific relief funds, that is, that and all will be com coming under ATGGA. And another thing, there is one more similar thing, uh, that is, uh, I think so, you might be confused also, ATGG one section is that, if you are able to pay, HRA from the employer means it should, you should not get ATGG. ATGG is the similar thing for house rent allowance. If you are not able to claim house rent allowance from the employer, then you can use the section ATGG and you can claim it from the same formula that is a, that is for a amount paid as house rent that we can claim here in ATG. G, ATGG, sorry. This is, these are the different types of deductions which are available under income tax. That is chapter 6a we will be telling you that. Like that. So I have discussed what are all the exceptions under something only that is section 10, section 16, section 24. And I have discussed some deductions ATC, ATCCD and ATD, ATDDB, ATU and some of them are, uh, I have discussed already. The after subtracting all those things from your salary, salary income, the final figure what we are arriving, this is called as the taxable income, net taxable income. This amount is be considered as the main amount, then for this only we have to check for the slab. How to calculate the income tax? Suppose if you are after this, all this budget, if you are, you will be arriving as a taxable income. If the taxable income, is approximately 5 lakhs means then we will be getting as a tax relief. Now we are moving to the next section. That is, as I told, the tax law. I am now concentrating on old tax asset. That is, a two and a half, the slab will be 2 and a half lakhs, 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs, and above. That is 0, 5 percentage, 20 percentage, 30 percent. Up to 5 lakhs, if you are getting, in, that is, if you are getting tax relief from it, there will be a tax relief under section 87. You need not to pay any tax for that. If your salary is uh, less than or equal to 5 lakhs, that is what I told is net tax income. If it is less than 5 lakhs, means you need not to pay single rupee to the government. If you are paying at least 1 rupee, that is 5 lakhs and 1 rupee also, you should pay tax to the government. If you are paying, five, that is if your net, net tax income is 5 lakhs and 1 rupee also, then First two and a half uh, lakhs will be 
uh, will be omitted for then two and a half lakhs to five lakhs will be 12,500. Then for that one rupee also, you have to pay 20 percentage. That is uh, one rupee like that. Uh, like that, you have to pay 12,500 at one rupee as a if you are getting net tax in of 5 lakhs, there will be zero tax. If you are getting more than that, 5 lakhs and 1 rupees also, you have to pay 12,500 plus 4 percentage of sales. And along with that, you have to pay as a income tax. This you should bear up in time. In that situation only, this exemption and deductions will help you. Not only this deduction, we can pay, that is, we can, that is, donate to politician, politician parties also, we can. Uh, there is a give donation that will be 100 percentage exempted. That should be a proper, that is, politician party. They should have and registered under the Indian, that is, uh, under Indian government, they should be registered. We should not, that is, cash receipts is not accepted. I think so. Either you should pay through net banking or through cards like that, then only it will be accepted. If you are getting this, that is, on the slab, that is, a, some amount on the slab in that situation, you can uh, reduce your tax slab and you can compute your income tax. This is the base steps, base steps of computing the income tax. What are all the things uh, we have to specify? What are all the income you have incurred in this uh, incurred in this financial year that you have to explicitly declare directly to the government? Along with that, what are all the exemptions you have claimed? That is, in the income, or what are the exemptions we are claiming? That also we have to specify. And deduction, where, where we are talking about amount in investment purpose, that also we have to specify. Everything that is thing, overall salary states minus exemption minus deduction, we will arrange the net taxable income. On the basis of the net taxable income, we will be getting the tax law. On the, on the tax law, we have to calculate it. Calculate the income tax and we will be arriving the net figure. The for the net figure, we have to pay, yeah, there is a thing, pay, pay the, the tax either monthly or in the last month. Before the end of the year, we have to pay the tax. If you are paying additional amount as a tax also, suppose your company has deducted more amount as income tax also. On submitting the ITR, you can get back to a amount. There is excess paid amount also. You can get it back from the income tax department. This is the base calculation of income tax. Then we will be checking what are all the different types of ITR. That is, uh, there are different types of ITR. One of the persons asked in our group also. What is ITR means income tax return. First, if you are having salaries, means it will be coming directly under ITR 1. That is, there are seven ITRs in that. ITR 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that it is there. So, wait a minute. Before going to that, you should know what is financial year, what is the assessment year, what is plan number, what is plan number, and all it will go. Financial year means in which, in which year we are going to earn for our concern. This is the financial year, that is, it starts on April 1st, 2022, and ends in March, uh, March 31st, 2023. This is financial year. What is the assessment year means? The year that is coming next to the financial year, in that we have to assess our income and we have to pay our tax. This is called as assessment year. Then what is the plan number? Each and every person who is going to file your income tax return should have the plan number. Plan means permanent tax account number. That what are the that is we are paying the amount, what are the salaries, what are the amount, everything will be recorded under the plan while submitting the plan. This, if you are going for a, a bank to put an FD like that, and that, they will be asking for that. If you are registering a land, they will be asking for a plan. That thing and that. There are the places if you are using the plan number, it will be accounted and well, a taxman can easily get what are all the expense or gains from you using the plan number. Similarly, what is TAN? TAN is the tax and collection number. TAN number is maintained for 
So who are maintaining the TDS? The for this person, the TAN number should be the normally the company will be having TAN number. We will be registering, then we will be putting our TAN number while fulfilling of the e, that is filing of the income tax return. Then what we will, what is meant by advanced tax? Advanced tax, that is if your tax is very simple, we can pay it in, there is, a, there is a possibility to pay the tax in the first, that is in multiple, that is the EMIs also. That's, uh, they will be giving some certain period. If the tax is more than a certain limit, you can pay it in subsequent interns, intervals, that is called as advanced tax. At the final year, at the end of the year, you can, that is, calculate the uh, income tax, then how much advanced tax you have paid, then the remaining amount that you can pay it up. This is called as the advanced tax. What are all the payment of taxes? In salary itself, you will be having the deduction. This is known as TDS. While getting at the salary, if you are getting more than certain limit, normally they will be deducting, they will be calculating the income tax, they will be Deducting some amount as IT on their sugar. This is called as a TDS. So not only this, for some other purpose also, if you are paying a tax assessment, that will be also coming as a TDS. Filing your ITR. You should file your ITR either in online mode or in offline mode. There are certain exceptions that the persons need not to file ITR. Taxpayers who are aged 80 or more, they need not to pay IT. That is, they need not to file ITR online. They can submit the ITR on the offline also. Another thing, who are of having taxpayers who are of having the taxable income less than five lakh, they are they are also need not to pay, they may need not to file ITR because their taxable income is less, so they are not there, they no need to file the ITR also. For the rest of the person, ITR filing is mandatory. If you are not filing on the time, that is the thing. They will be putting fine, they will be making some activities over us. So you should try to make that is submit the ITR on, on the prescribed time. If you are submitting the ITR, then there will be ITR verification will come. ITR verification will what are the things we have submitted is called as ITR OTR. After submitting the ITR OTR, we have we can verify our income tax, uh, that is uh, uh, ITR by any one of the followers. Normally, we will be using with the OTP what we have registered on Aadhaar card. We can we verify the IT returns using Aadhaar card or through net banking or directly we can uh, send uh, that is take the print or copy of the ITR and send it to the direct CPC bank now, like that we can e-verify. E-verification is mandatory. Without e-verification, the IT returns will not be validated by the income tax department. Now we will be discussing what are the different types of ITR which are available in our income tax department. First, ITR1, it is mainly specifically for salary for a salary employees along with one house or having the salaries that is overall the taxable income less than 50 lakhs. That ITR1 we have to submit if your taxable income is less than 50 lakhs and if you are a salary person or if you are getting Rent, rented property also you can have you have to submit ITR1. Next we are moving to ITR2. ITR2 is maintained for not the person who is not having any business or professional income. Even salary is also a professional. If you are some persons will be uh, living on their uh, that is uh, uh, forefathers property. For them and all, ITR2, that is, who is not having any business or profession, they have to submit ITR2. If you are having a proprietary business or profession, we have to file ITR3. That is, 
apart from salary, if you are having any, whether it's a profession or business, you have to find ITR three. In this number, you have to get here no problem. If you are having presumptive income, this, if you are having presumptive income from business, you have to submit ITR four. If you are having a partnership firm, uh, then you have to submit ITR five. The, uh, if you are single one of the side here, three you have to find. If you are running a partnership firm, you have to uh, you have to submit ITR five. ITR six is for mainly for companies. That uh, most probably we are working as the salary and pricing subcontractor. They will be submitting form six. Suppose instead of companies, you know that some trusts trust trustees will be there. NGO, trust, trustees, that and all, they have to submit ITR 7. Oh, ITR is 7 for trust persons. Once again, I am repeating ITR 1, you know that it is for salary papers on whose overall tax income is less than 50 lakhs and if they are having rented property also. ITR 2, who doesn't have any professional or any business. ITR 3 is for who is having any business or proper, there is any business or uh, profession. ITR 4 is for who is having presumptive income that they have to submit ITR 4. ITR 5 is for partnership concern. ITR 6 is for companies. ITR 7 is for trustees. These are all the different type of income tax returns which is available in our income tax department. So, Normally, as a salaried person, you should know we have to submit ITR 1. This much is enough from our side. While submitting, the, the, while filling up the order, there is ITR, what are the documents required? Normally, that is, what are all the documents which are all involved in, that is a exemption, that is, a, is a Form 16 is the main document. Normally, salaried persons will be having Form 16 that will be having these different heads, what I have discussed till now that are all will be coming under form 16. Based on that, we can fill up the ITR with us. We should have the original documents. For example, if you have to see your hand there, it's ATU, for ATU, you should have determined certificate. Yeah, like that, the means we have the documents with you, they know it is necessary. If they are asking you, you have to produce, produce it. And the for house rent also, a rent, rent paid, uh, that is the receipts we will be having. That also, we should have it, but if necessary, we have to submit. Otherwise, it is not necessary to submit it. The declaration, we have to submit it to the company. Normally, in the last two months, I think so, from January to March, we have to submit proof of investment to the company. There only, we have to submit, that is either a digital copy or an original copy to the concern. They are in our company, the accounts department will verify our documents for each and every exemption and deductions. If you are putting any AFD for five years, that you have you will be having a deposit receipt. If you are parking your funds in uh, uh, that is uh, some linked ALSIS thing, there also you will be having some documents. These are all uh, normally nowadays we have to submit it in digital. If they want in one we have to produce it if necessary. We will, but currently, we have to submit everything digitally. These documents are required. As I told, the calculation of income tax. Now you can do a calculator how to calculate. First, salary heads, the conference, and we have to make total. Then we have to separate the exemption. Next, we have to separate the direction. Next, we will be arriving the net tax income. Based on the net tax income, what is the that is a slab we are following that we can take it up. Based on the tax slab, we have to calculate the income tax. This is the methodology of calculating the income tax. This is for salaried persons. Okay. In case of if you are selecting new resume, in that situation, we can avoid that is normally there will not be exemption deduction of directly salary heads. Total after that, directly it will be the net tax with There we can calculate the uh, as per your salary slab. If you are aged more than 60, that is, if you are senior citizen or super senior citizen, then you will be having the extra 
electrical. That is, as I already told, up to 3 lakhs for senior citizen, up to 5 lakhs for super senior citizen. There are certain relaxation also. So there is a dividend income from the companies up to certain limit that will be X and cash. These are also we have to note it down. And the capital gains, if you are getting the capital gains up to one lakh in the annual period, then it will be non-taxable. That is, you can get tax relief based on it. If you are getting uh, that capital gains, that is, if you have parked your funds in mutual funds of the bar, if you are getting more than one lakh in the earnings, then it will be taxed at 15 percentage. Now, in, up to this, we have discussed about 2022 and 2023. Now, we will be moving to the budget highlights of there is the, in the current union budget highlights what we have is what our government has introduced that we will discuss. Now, the, in the new, as per the new union budget, our financial minister has introduced that tax relief for the fully that uh, they have really concentrated on new taxes. They are really they, they are concentrating on closing up the old taxes. They are fully concentrated on new receipts. They have given the tax life changes. However, there are in as per the previous, there are six tax levels. Uh, that is two and a half in the interval of two and a half lakh. That is zero to two and a half, two and a half to five, five to seven point five, like that. They are having. But now they have changed to three lakhs. That's it. Zero to three, three to six, six to nine, nine to twelve, twelve to fifteen, and fifteen and above. Like that, they have scheduled it. The remaining things are same only. There is zero to three, no, there is nil. Three to six, it will be five percentage. 6 to 9, it will be 10 percentage, like that they have given. And the another thing is, they have introduced section 87 tax relief. Already, the up to 5 lakhs they have given from, uh, to the previous financial year. Now, they have given up to 7 lakhs. If your taxable income is less than 7 lakhs, you can get gain the tax relief. That is, as I already told, income tax will be calculated, but you will be relieved from income tax. That you need not to pay a single penny to the government. Well, then here also, if you are opting for new tax receipt, if you are in the old receipt, you will be having the tax relief. That is, under section 87A, you will be having up to 5 lakhs only. Only in new receipt, you can have up to 7 lakhs. Because here, no extra, no deductions are there. This is the main change for salary person. And the such as, as I already told, if you are earning between five, uh, uh, 50 lakhs and 5 crores, there will be such as it starts 5, 10 percentage, 15 percentage, 25 percentage, then 37 percentage in the previous session, previous year. But currently, they have reduced, if you are, uh, that is highest such as is previously 37 percent, that they have reduced to 25 percentage. This is for higher bracket, that is higher any person, this will be happened. Most probably the new taxes will be benefited for the higher bracket only and who are all getting very low salary, that is less than salary. Then only for middle class person, I think so. It is not that much for this is my conclusion on new budget. And the leave and engagement on the new uh, the, uh, the announcement has been introduced in the budget. That previously the leave and engagement is up to three lakhs per private organization for FYS, they have increased up to 25 lakhs. These are all the highlights of the new budget. I have given a short introduction over income tax, income tax calculation, where what is exemption, deduction, where to park our fund, how to save our funds, and what are all the highlights of the current union budget. Now, 
it is your turn. If you are facing any difficulties or any questions, anything, if you are willing to ask, you can unmute and ask. Okay, over to you. Yes. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So first of all, thank you so much, Saravanan. You had given me a lot. You had given us a lot of uh, input on income tax, how to calculate and how to save our tax, which is everybody's concern now this time. So I hope this uh, session was helpful to you. Now I'm just trying to uh, unmute everybody, allow you to raise your questions if you have any. Also, you will be getting the uh, notes also in text format on your email ID in case if you missed anything. So you can always refer to that. Uh, so we'll be doing that. So just in a moment, I am just uh, uh, unmuting yourself, uh, everybody, so that you can have your questions if you have any. So please allow me for a minute. And for you all, this is the introductory session only. If you are feeling confused, we will be having a detailed session over it in the overcoming session. In that session, you can get more. If you are getting more doubts, you can keep in touch with us. In the middle also, if you are facing any doubts, you can contact me, myself, or Vision Access directly, and you can get clarity. As I already, uh, Ukesh has informed that uh, my name is Saravan. My mail ID is k dot along with that, my mobile number is double nine one six five one two four zero two. I think so. Okay, so he's uh, sharing overall that is his mail ID, his mobile number, along with my mail ID, my mobile number. Yeah, I think so in this chat or uh, through mail. 